Birmingham Stallions, back-to-back -back champions of the USFL, two wins away from winning the inaugural title of the United Football League, led by their head coach, Skip Holtz, and their presumptive MVP quarterback. And the USFL Conference Championship is underway on a gorgeous, sunny Saturday afternoon here in the Magic City. Ross finds a crease out past the 35, across the 40, and it sets the Panthers up with great field position. He's got a couple of his top weapons back this week, including Matt Colburn running back out of Wake Forest, who's fifth in the league and rushing despite playing. On second and seven, Etling to throw. It's a quick one. It's Ross. The kick returner, a flag comes out in the backfield between the hashes as his forward progress is stopped I got about progress, three years shy. Personal foul, rough in the passer. Defense, number 96. 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. That's Carlos Davis and all you have. Marcus Sims, the motion man, he is dangerous. Almost 19 yards per reception this season, which would be top seven. Three in the last four games, excuse me, 11 to one the price on that prop. There is Mariner on the slant. Stormy's gonna catch right now. Touchdown! What a start for the Panthers. 35 yards to the house. Part of what makes this play work is that Matthew Coburn motions, so it turns into empty. When it's empty, no longer as a defense can you disguise. It's pretty much Kicks cool. in the UFL. You can go for one point from the two-yard line. That is what Michigan does. Colburn's not going to get there. You can also go for two from the five-yard line or three from the ten. First play from scrimmage for the Stallions is a give. And there's Person, who's back. He leads the UFL with six. After a gain of two on first down, here's where Martinez is so dangerous the league's leading rusher regardless of position knocked out of bounds by are going to be signing him when the season ends in the nfl these players can sign with nfl teams the monday after the ufl championship he is down we know he's got to get to the 33 i mean 43 okay okay he is short i mean obviously it's tough to pick that up on fourth and one, they're going for it. Gibbs to Person. He's their short yardage specialist. Stood up, and this is going to be close. Shot that we're going to look. So I want yep. you to focus not on the line of scrimmage, but off the line. Those two guys going down. What do you think? We're going to a media here, right. fellas. Media. Right, so thank you. Here in the UFL for this Panthers defense. Back in a big way, setting up their team in plus territory. This is Nate McCrary, the bigger option of those two running backs. Keep your eye on 14, Siosi Marin, who scored from this distance on their first drive. Etling tried to find him a little too tall for the 6-2 wideout. A.J. Thomas, 53-yard attempt, going the same direction where he missed from this distance to win the game last week. This time, it's pure. And Bates now 7 of 11 from 50-plus this year. Stallions in a place they're not usually at. Down by nine as they hand to C.J. Marable. He picks up five. Stallions have run it on four or five snaps, make it five of six. Marable sheds a tackle, puts the shoulder down, and he's got a first down. C.J. Marable, former Shauna Clear. The trips to the right. They do throw. It's a screen. This could be a double pass as long as they stay behind the line of scrimmage, but Amari Rogers picks up a few on first down of your screen. Third down and seven, another flag. Number eight, number eight. All star, offense, number eight. Five yard penalty, third down. It's a question right away, an unsportsmanlike conduct. It goes on Derwin Gray, the left guard for the Stallions. They are going the wrong direction. So it's third and 27 after their fourth penalty of the first quarter. And man, it is all bad leagues. Now he's in the UFL. He brings three on third and 13. Etling steps up and fires. Mariner takes the hit, holds on. Flag is special this season, catches in traffic. And this is what his coaches notice most about him. So I, I see that pocket first, but Ciosi Mariner is surrounded by four different Birmingham defenders, and he's not afraid of the contact. We talk, Second and six, trouble with the snap and the pitch, and it's Colburn who dives back on top of it. Come on, 
Panthers ninth play in Stallions territory of the first quarter. They check it down for Colburn past the 25 yard line. It'll set up fourth down and another choice to is a chip shot for him. Hit from 53 earlier. And he stays perfect today. Well, for anything on their last drive. 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. Martinez nearly had it knocked out of his hand. Somehow stays alive and almost completed the Houdini act, but he goes down for a sack, a loss of one. Jeez. Stallions facing their largest first quarter deficit of the season, down by 12 as we start the second. Martinez's pass is complete to Marlon Williams. The game. Had to convert a fourth and seven on that game-winning touchdown drive. Martinez with a dot. Great throw to Benjamin Victor. He didn't hear a whistle. All the way to the house. Down by contact at the 40-yard line. First down. To make tackles like that. They were 0 for 2 on third down in the first quarter. They pick up their first one here. And wide open is maybe the best tight end in the league. Jay Sternberger still on his feet inside the five. A gain of 38. yards with a face mask that wasn't called Martinez testing the right side he's in trouble he's gonna lose 10 yards ultimately for reps Martinez on second and goal from forever away that is a great throw and it's gonna take him near the five one of the reasons you see a lot of these receivers even Gary Jennings with the st. Louis Battlehawks last year they're getting up and trying six, to six. Jordan Thomas the tight end that's where they go Thomas broken up Keith Gibson Jr. he sends Chris blew it out for a 23 yarder he's now nine for nine from inside 50 yards this year first and ten for Danny Etling and the Panthers a good start for Nate McCreary takes a big hit and he's just short of the first Hurry up offense for these Michigan Panthers and McCreary has a first down running at 6 -0. Sims the motion man on first down handoff back to McCreary finds a hole McCreary feasting on this drive steps out of a couple tackles all the way to the 26 Jonathan Garvin made the stop after a gain of 20 Marcel Belfoui the offensive coordinator said that his identity of what this team was going to be changed Earlier in the season, they wanted to be pass first. Well, they played this Birmingham team, got sacked seven times. He said, you know what? Let's go to quick game and running game. Nate McCrary's been a huge part of that. What's their biggest strength of this O-line is their run blocking. After three straight runs for McCrary, Atling out to Hiccatini. And the tight end steps out. And uh, playing with my teammates, playing this game. I've heard a lot about your intensity and your energy. How much is that on display? Third down and five. Atling faces the pressure, stood and delivered. Nobody home. Jake Bates, good from 50 plus, 40 plus, this from 39. And he is three for three. And the Panthers have scored on all four possessions. Right to the quarterback. But he didn't open up on accident, Cole. He opened it up because he felt that contact. That a coach who always said, win first contact. When Dunlap felt that contact from Dondre Tillman, all on the ground. Dangerous for Birmingham. They jump back on top of it. When he felt that contact, Cole, just going back to that play. Second and nine. Martinez didn't see it coming. Off the blind side, it's Dawkins again. I, I got to give a little bit of love to Noah Dawkins. So my last year in the NFL, 2019 to the NFL. He sets up his team inside the 15, already leading by 12. McCrary hands out some punishment as he's inside the 10. Kiava Tizino, the top. Barely get the snap off. Atling gives it back to McCrary. Had to dance around the backfield, and he'll lose a yard. Willie Yarberry on the inside. Went to Wake Forest. Was actually teammates with Matthew Coburn. He's all UFL for a reason. Four for four in the first half. Martinez, the top rusher in the league, stands, throws up the seam, got his man, touchdown! One play. Javon White. 
But if, one thing that Damon has to understand is, hey, if it's cover two, you're the middle runner. Back up a little bit. To make it a seven-point game, Martinez, end zone, incomplete. Rodgers, the intended target. Stepped up big in big moments, so it's no surprise you're seeing him now. How do the Panthers respond with a flag down in the backfield? Marcus Sims, first time we've said his name out to the first. Personal foul, rough in a passer. Defense, number 96. 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Let's watch what, how this one plays out. Carlos Davis on the interior goes through. You don't need that, especially if you know that the, the refs are... Four wide for Etling, fakes the give to Colburn, stands in there, flush to his right. Etling can really move. He gets chopped down, and it'll be a sack. The Marquis Gates. Coverage on the back end. Denny Etling, I love Noah Johnson, that's center, going out there, and he gets beat initially. That little bit of effort gives Etling more time. But all Just came back to win 20 to 19. What does Danny Etling have on third and 13? It's a completion. Trey Quinn. He's inside the 35. Be... This from 51. Did he hit the sweet spot again? No. His first miss today. Three-man rush on third and 16. Martinez to his left, loads it up and fires. Incomplete. A lot of contact as Rodgers was trying to run that route. Flag comes in around the 30. Holding. Defense number three. Five-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Hate this penalty. Now you say, okay, well, it's a holding. You don't want it. But if you're getting beat, you're going to see Nate Brooks playing from depth. If you're getting beat, I don't hate actually holding because it keeps that play from me. He did throw it away, which his coach Skip Holtz wanted to see him do more this week. This time he fires a missile. It's caught by Marlon Williams. Ball's out at the end of the play. Still up for grabs. And Williams fell back on top of it. A gain of 29. Love that punch out. Kai Nakua had an opportunity to get that ball. But instead of trying to fall on it, you're taught to... Martinez, this is where he's lethal. Clock's going to continue to wind, though, down to the 25. Stallions burn another timeout, their second. Martinez, left side, looking for Rodgers. Incomplete, almost had him on the back shoulder. So he's from Tyler, Texas. State Brooks, 6 feet, 190, went to University of North Texas. The same school as Patrick Mahomes, Packers. White House, in the NFL. Blew it. Nails it from 43 to make it a six-point game. Outgained the visiting Panthers. Jake Bates kicks it away, and we are underway here in the third quarter. Winner to the UFL Championship next Sunday. Deion Kane on the return for the Stallions, and he says giddy up around the right side into plus territory, where he's bumped out by the kicker Bates. Tomorrow. He was catching passes from Alex Magoo, the league MVP. Martinez should be the league MVP this season. He's looking for Kane. Picked off! Adonis Alexander says, give me that. Amazing to hear that after that partnership has worked so well all season. Etling's pass is complete. There's Marcus Sims. Always shifty, always they dangerous. Going back and forth to competing for a starting spot. Yeah, they competed at the start of this season. Corral actually opened as the starter. That pass is beautiful. Etling completes it to Devin Gray, who taps the toes for another. Colburn around the right side. Tried to cut it back, picked up maybe a yard, third down coming. Etling is 12 for 15 today, four-man rush, there's Mariner. And that is a first down for the Panthers, I think. That gave Michigan a lead. It's a fake, it's a fake, and it works to perfection. Kedrick Whitehead Jr. pops free. He's throwing that ball. Perfect. Mind you, he was a quarterback. He was a quarterback. Makes that play brilliant play. It does a little bit of everything for this Panthers team, and now they might give it back. Ball is live, and it's loose, and the Stallions have it. Damon Lloyd falls on it. With the pressure, the strip sack, and the takeaway for the Stallions. A little juice back here at Protective Stadium. Birmingham takes over down three in motion. Uh, it's like music to your ears, Sam. Former pass rusher Martinez on the give to Ricky Person. He picks up just one on first down. Let's go back to that play. 
Martinez started nine for 12, just one for six since, including an interception. Here he steps up, balls out again, but they'll rule him down. By two big time players. So Walter Paul Moore first. Look at his eyes on the ball. He's attacking the football, and that's intentional. That's called a turnover. So it actually is a fumble. And there is a clear recovery by the defense. He had a PBU in the fourth quarter to help win the game. And then Mika Tafua doing the rest. Former Mizzou Tiger on his second force fumble of the year. Sets him up, Georgia. Out of breath trying to chase down Adrian Martinez. They've done a great job of it today. Now their quarterback swarmed. And Etling is sacked. Jonathan Gar Garvin uses his speed right there, top of the screen. There's nowhere for Etling to go. So your job is to get to the quarterback. So that win 99% of the time. Panthers over their last five on third down. Steep hill to climb here on third and 18. That's their favorite guy to throw to on third down, Trey Quinn, but he will be short. Winner of this game on to the UFL championship next Sunday in St. Louis. Amari Rogers gets popped as he tries to hit the left edge and a late flag comes in. Third down and eight. Martinez stands in, good pocket. Now he's gonna scramble, going nowhere. Met in the backfield, Mika Tafua, the first player to get his hands on him. All day. Mika Tafua, 6'2", 249 out of Utah. He's quick, he has great eyes, but it's not just him, it's the entire defensive line forming a cage around the quarterback. And you know, I always need picks. I asked him if he's rooting for the Florida Panthers or if he's rooting for country. Oh, take oh it look later. out, yeah, intercepted. This third quarter just gets crazier and crazier. Brown takes it away. And the third, second or third throw that's been high. Well, that's high and that's over the middle. That I mean, it's like the Florida people say, ball caught me. Ball chose me. That ball chose Ike Brown. Adrian Six Martinez points. is out. Matt Corral is in. Former Ole Miss Rebel pumps, throws, completes his first pass to Deion Kane. He's one of the Matt. most talented players you're going to meet. On second and three, that's intercepted. What is happening in this third quarter? Javen White on the takeaway. Tips and overthrows. I know. That's we're gonna a win tip it. We're pass gonna win right it. here. We're Matt Corral, we're gonna win it. pressure in his face. Boom. Oh, four turnovers and four first downs, plus a fake punt. Oh, my goodness. Another takeaway. This could go the distance. Daniel Isom scores. Go back to that pick six. Well, you heard him. He said it was just a little sit route. Well, if you watch film, you know that route's going to come. You're allowed to undercut it, so he does. But it's not just the interception. We talked about it. You have to be able to score on defense. Notice the con. Rogers in motion. Corral fakes it to him. This is the play they took the lead on last week. Got to be a record for maybe any league. Danny Etling on the give. Matt Colburn burrows. Etling from the empty set. Four-man rush from the Stallions. Flushes him to his right. Etling directing traffic. He can run for it. Chased down, and he comes up short. Jonathan Garvin. Part of the great access in the United Football League. It's still Matt Corral for the Stallions, and that's on the money. Jordan Thomas is big tight end, who had a 50-yard... The two top teams make it. If it's anything like this, that game's going to be epic. Matt Corral rips it deep. Got a man! Gary Jennings. St. Louis last year, but with the transition of this league, all of a sudden there's better players on different teams. Great patience and trust by Matt Corral, but we talked about those trusts, a guy who's been there before and making the most of this new team. C.J. Marable dancing through the hole down to the 10-yard line. From the empty set, Corral looks, throws, Rogers, touchdown! Stallions take the lead after they trailed by 15 in the first half. Rogers, look at it, just right here. He's calm, he's cool. You got him, take it, try and make them defend. And Amari Rogers, we're talking to Thomas. The most trusted players are on the field right now. Especially down in this area, that throw incomplete for Rogers. Again, it's Nate Brooks. It pretty well, that's why there's every concept we've ran, there's always been a guy just right there, you know? So we, we, we got to add a little wrinkle just to, just to give Talk us these adjustments. On second and four, here's Danny Etling, pressured by the Stallions, and a great play to get it out. Yeah, we started 14 of 16. He's one for five since. 
That one is complete. It's Devin Gray, the former Colorado Buffalo, passed the sticks for a first down. College career at Purdue, finished it at LSU. Hands it to McCrary. And he'll gain three yards as he burrows ahead. First half yet to score in the second half. Etling from empty looked like a draw all the way. He's got to get rid of it. That's risky. And it falls incomplete. Looked like he was just going to throw it away, but Joe Jones to Arkansas became a kickoff specialist. That's blocked. That is blocked. More mayhem in this second half. So Jake Bates with a 44-yard attempt that gets stuffed at the line. And it's not defenders making the block. It's two offensive linemen combining for it. Armani Taylor and Darius Harper of the Stallions. And not just any offensive lineman, Drew. These are two 6'6 offensive linemen. Darius Harper is 6'6", 300 out of Cincinnati. His coach said he did a nice job. Armani Taylor, Prelo, 6'6". These players can sign with NFL teams the Monday after the championship next week. Matt Corral still the quarterback. He completes to Marlon Williams. Made one man miss and ridden out of bounds. And get a piece of it. You know, and they've done a nice job. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, you're welcome. Think about the special team swings in this game. A fake punt for Michigan and then a blocked field goal for Birmingham as Corral is twisted down by Rondell Carter. And sometimes that might not be like a D lineman, but O lineman, no. Corral five for six. A lot of hand fighting and two flags come in. Oh, thank you. Hold it. Defense, number one. Five yard penalty, automatic first down. Levante Taylor, 5'10", 186 out of Florida State. Once again, just put the ball in a place where you force the defender a chance. Corral looks left, throws right, completes to, to Kane again, targeting him on back-to-back -back snaps, and he's near first down yardage. All right, Stormy. First and 10. C.J. Marable bouncing off of tacklers, pinballing his way, and sledgehammering inside the 30. A juice run for C.J. That's the midway point of this fourth quarter. It's Marable again, testing the left side, cuts it back, again shakes the first tackler, and he's near the red zone. Johnson, all UFL right guard. He's going to pull around and great kick, off block, kick out block on Breland Speaks to make that to hole available. Says something like Crossers. Just one of six on third down today, and Jay Sternberger has this week. And going back to, look at Jay Sternberger. He sits down, so it looks like it's a little bit of zone. Another catch in traffic. You're going to your trusted players. He sits down, gets the ball, and protects the ball. Matt Corral on in relief for Adrian Martinez. He throws to the running back. Persons got it toward the pylon. Touchdown! Ricky Person goes Superman! Okay, you didn't get the dog. You're not the NBA. But, and then going to Matt Corral. Right there, to Ricky Person Jr., who Superman's in the end zone. Turk, his granddad. To take a 13-point lead. Corral keeps, floats, count it. Way upstairs, Jordan Thomas lives there. <laughs> and his Statue of Liberty is the ball. Jordan Thomas got this coaching point earlier. Go up and get the ball. Don't fade away from it. He said, Story, six. Ricky Person. He's had a fantastic season for Birmingham. Biggest touchdown so far. Matthew Colburn on the first down carry for the Panthers. And your folks, yourself going quicker. Panthers 0-4 on third down in the second half. Atling, pressure. Flips his hips, keeps it sacked. It's would be so so real quick 510 191 out of Washington State yep you hear the timeout by Michigan you have to take it you have to take the timeout right now smart play by Daniel Isom I've heard people say at quarterback hey man if you fourth down and nine Atling retreating scanning fires Samson Nakua in the area intercepted Taken away by Ike Brown, his second pick today, and that will seal it. Matt Corral gives to C.J. Marable. How'd he get out of that? Man, C.J. Marable can go. Takes us to the two-minute warning with a buck 52 to play. No, a big-time first down. Look at this cutback. Great vision. 
Great spin moves, great teamwork, great effort. That's all kind of cool. All UFL safety. And today for Michigan, great first half. They scored 18 points. Silent in the second half as the Stallions defense has proven itself to be championship worthy. It's Marable again. And Michigan out of time. Marable staying on his feet for a couple extra seconds. USFL champion, coach of the year at Louisiana Tech. It's conversations like those. That's kind of the second half in a nutshell for this Panthers offense. Hetling runs into his own man, goes down. Bye bye! And spring football still runs through Birmingham, folks. The Stallions are headed to the inaugural UFL championship game. They are your USFL conference champs. You guys have done a great job.